I'm Christian Garrick. Saints win 21-18 over the Atlanta Falcons. They've won six of the last seven against Atlanta. And they Saints swept win. two of the last three seasons over the Falcons. And, Bobby, hey, take this win any way you can get it. Yeah, it's a rivalry game. Um, and whenever you win this type of game, you know, at times it was ugly, but a win is a win. You know, I'd read the uh, win ugly then, like, oh, but that was a great performer. We just had a lot of bad luck when we lost. No, you, you got to win the game. And it's always a great day in America when the Saints win and the Cowgirls lose. It just shows you. In the NFL, you, you, do, you don't know what's going to happen. You look at the Jaguars and look at the Cowgirls. Look at yesterday, the Colts and the Vikings. Just look where their seasons were at. And then uh, how about the Bears and the Eagles? <laughs> look at that game. So uh, the, the NFL is crazy. That's why you better pack a lunch and come to play. Uh, you don't have any homecoming games or no bye weeks. And you you got to come to play. Hey, the, the Saints going to have a short week. They're going to have to bring it on Saturday. Might be snowing against the Browns. You know what I'm worried about? I know the Browns can freaking run the ball. Uh, well, again, they better pack a lunch to stop the run because that was, uh, that was like, like Deuce would say, that was terrible, or, or Charles Barkley, uh, that, that 39 attempts, 231 yards, and they basically averaged six yards a carry, mm, and you're going against Cleveland. Well, uh, I, I think they're going to have, I would say, 35, 40 rushing attempts to see. If we don't know it might be inclement weather and what's going to come about. I think they're going to try and run against the Saints uh, come uh, Christmas Eve. I don't know if you watched the last drive there for the Browns in that game. But it looks like Deshaun Watson's starting to shake off a little bit of that rust. He's starting. Yeah, well, to he basically a bit of didn't play for two years, and so he's coming back. Uh, yeah, I, listen. I, I know the score isn't indicative of right, of that, right. But what I'm saying is, you, if you watched it, you saw him start to fall into a rhythm a little bit. Yeah, uh, uh, but the Browns are still uh, they're still like uh, I'm gonna run you over uh, type team. And uh, look, when they do that against the Ravens, you know, a type mentality that goes a long way. But Looking at the Saints today, uh, they get their second series sweep of the Falcons in the past three years. So, Christian, you talked about that. Uh, as of late, no, uh, the Saints have dominated uh, uh, Atlanta. Now, it doesn't get any better than this. Uh, we now have the lead. Now, it's a slight lead. We have 54 wins in the series, and Atlanta has 53. <laughs> It was 53 to 53, the rubber match. So we're now up 54 uh, to 53. And now, uh, look at the Saints since 2006, the Sean Payton Drew Brees era going forward since 2006. We're now 24 and 10 against uh, Atlanta. Now, I thought this was interesting um, that, you know, scoring defense, you know, even though we weren't getting punched in the mouth and, and run over at times. Uh, where is your scoring defense? The Saints have now uh, allowed 20 points or fewer in six of their last seven games. Well, I'm just saying if we continue to do that forward, if we allow 20 or fewer points in six of seven, you know what I, I say you should be on those game, in those games? Six and one. <laughs> not, not 500. So that's a good sign uh, going forward there as far as uh, scoring defense. Now, uh, looking at where we're at, uh, I think we're a lot better at the beginning on third down converting. We were right at 50%, 5 of 11, uh, but not so good. The Atlanta got kind of better the way they were able to run the ball, 56%. So we have to get better on third down. The only uh, area that we really excel at uh, this year, i, I got to look at my notes where I have this uh, somewhere, is that is, is red zone defense. We have been outstanding uh, overall red zone defense. Uh, but nothing else uh, to write home about. So uh, th that's why we got to get better. If you're truly going to be, uh, yeah, if you look at it right here, we were fourth in the NFL uh, in red zone defense. Any other uh, category, we're not top 10. And when our defense supposed to be top 10 this year, how we were structured, I don't care if it's Jameis Winston, Andy Dalton. Well, uh, we had the fourth uh, red zone defense. And if you look at it, Atlanta, uh, this is good. Uh, they weren't 100 percent. They were one of two 50 percent, you know, getting touchdowns. So, so that's a good thing there when you look at um, what we've accomplished defensively, what we could build upon about red zone defense, bend but don't break, and then scoring defense. Uh, that's going to go a long way. Now, um, 
this is good enough for us. We average basically four yards a carry, 34 rushing attempts. You always want to hit that mark, uh, 30 plus or high 20s. Uh, well, we had 134 yards, uh, but this is embarrassing, really. When you look at it, they had 231 yards rushing, 39 attempts, uh, six yard average. So we averaged four yards, they averaged six. Uh, but the one thing, uh, Desmond Ritter, uh, you know, you might have a lot of Saints fans. They might say, um, well, uh, there's no way Andy Dalton's going to outplay Desmond Ritter, the rookie. The rookie's a stud or whatever. I, I don't know. He went too studly. He was a 50% passer. He was 13 of 26, and he didn't throw for 100 yards. In this modern-day football passing, he threw for 97 yards. You know what his yards attempt were per pass? 3.7. Christian. Well, what, you throwing screens every play? All right. 3.7 yards an attempt, 97 yards. He's 13 to 26, sacked four times, quarterback rating of 59. Andy Dalton, his yards per attempt uh, was 8.9. He got sacked a couple of times, but his quarterback rating was 132. So he got the old Wiley veteran, 132 quarterback rating versus the young stud rookie, Desmond Ritter, only with a 53, I mean a 59 QB rating. Now, I thought Taysom Hill was outstanding, how to utilize him uh, in the passing game. Two for two, 80 yards. Uh, you can't get better than that, two for two. You, can, you, you, can't, you can't be like. You just can't. Uh, well, I mean, if you threw two passes, you completed two passes for 80 yards. It doesn't get any better than that. Perfect quarterback rating uh, by Taysom Hill. If you look at uh, the production we had, and, and I was worried about this because Alvin Kamara, um, you know, when he came – into the game as of late. And I'm talking about, like, I want to say a handful of not six games. He was averaging, like, 56 yards from scrimmage. What? We need him to get, for sure, at least twice that or maybe three times. Well, I think it was serviceable today. Alvin Kamara had 114 yards total as a pass-receiving uh, running back. Now, those only 13 yards, but he ran for 91. You know, basically average uh, four and a half yards to carry, like, Taysom Hill. But he got 21 attempts. So if you look at it, Alvin Kamara had 23 uh, touches. And he ended up having 114 yards. Taysom, if I count his yards passing, uh, which you look at all all purpose yards, and, uh, you know, because he he didn't catch any balls today, though, uh, from Andy. He didn't catch any passes. But as far as passing the football when running, uh, that's pretty balanced. He had 110. So Alvin Kamara contributed for 114. Taysom Hill, 110. Now, the stud, the fantasy stud, now people say, hey, Bear, but, but, but why didn't you tell me about Jawan Johnson? He's going to get all these damn touchdowns. Why didn't you tell me? I didn't know. Did you see that, Christian? No, I, mean, I, I at one point thought Jawan Johnson was going to get cut in training camp, honestly, the way he was playing. Well, well, we all thought like they were hoping where they drafted him that Adam Trotman would be this right. type of receiver, but not so fast. Jawan Johnson said not so fast. You know, it's not even close. Jawan Johnson, like you said, he's a, he's only behind Kelsey in the whole National Football League as far as touchdowns by tight end. He has seven. Uh, that you know, Chris, that is so far ahead of the other uh, receivers on the team. Jawan Johnson has seven touchdowns. You know who's second? Uh, now, uh, I, I think Michael Thomas was playing. We all know he bang. He had two, but like Chris Olave has three. Guess how many touchdowns uh, Travis Kelsey has? Probably, I would say nine. Twelve. Okay, twelve. So 12 and it goes down to 7. But Okay, but you look at Kittle, you look at all the other stud tight ends. Uh, now, they, you might say well, they have more weapons, they spread the wealth, whatever. But look, give me Chris Olave, uh, you know, outstanding rookie. Uh, he has three touchdowns. Jawan Johnson uh, with seven. I thought Rashid Shaheed, uh, again, he's in the game. Uh, Marquez Callaway, sorry, you might be uh, not getting any reps. Uh, uh, come on, uh, Chris, I can't think of his name. Temple, Temple, uh, the, the receiver. Um, come on, come on, Marquez Callaway. No, no, and then the guy from Temple we drafted, who who helped Drew oh. Brees the record. Oh, that was he wasn't from Temple; he's from UCF, and that's um. Oh yeah, yeah, you not uh, Temple. Traquan Smith. I, I, yeah, I was thinking of Kirkwood. Yeah, yeah okay, Traquan Smith and Callaway. Mm, sorry, uh, you, you might be inactive, or you're not going to get the refs. Rashid Shaheed. Rashid Shaheed, uh four targets, three catches, uh, ninety-five yards, thirty-two yard average, a touchdown. Jawan Johnson. 17-yard average, Chris Olave right at 18 yards. So uh, there was a lot of – there was some big plays. And uh, I looked at my notes, Chris. We were talking about this 
uh, when the game was unfolding. And this was at halftime, and we continued uh, to build upon that. As far as uh, the actual, like, big plays that we were able to get, I think it was at, wasn't it at 11? Or, or, no, n- for the game. okay, 11 for the game. Digit. We had nine by halftime. Mm-hmm. We had nine plays, double digit yards by halftime, and we ended up with 11. So, uh, so, so that's a good sign. So, we being that's an explosive offense. You look how we started the game. Um, you know, here we two for two on third down, we go nine plays, 56 yards. And we're up seven to zero. We force it three and out. Then we go two plays, seventy three yards. Now it's fourteen to zero. I said, man, we might crush Atlanta, considering. But then uh, all of a sudden, you know, you end up stopping yourself, and uh, what occurs? But if you look at the game and how that uh, progressed, uh, this where it could have been really. Uh, and and Dennis Allen said how awesome he played, and he has covered well. Uh, but uh, if he wants to go to the next level, you got to make those interceptions. Alante Taylor had a chance, I want to say, at three interceptions and a pick six for one of them. If you look at the beginning of the second quarter when that occurred, I was like, God, man, we got to make this all of a sudden. It would have been a 90-something-plus-yard pick six. It would have been 21-0. to zero. And all of a sudden, uh, you know, you don't have that pick six, and now it's 14-3 to three instead of, uh, you know, 21-zip. to zip. Now, if you look at it um, – Again, uh, David Johnson, I don't care who's the running back, whether it's Mark Ingram, David Johnson, Alvin Kamara. Come on, dudes. Uh, y- 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 y'all can't fumble. It's third and one. We're already in scoring position. You, you cannot fumble. And all of a sudden, uh, we minus one in a turnover margin. And that led us right there on, the, on that turnover. I don't know how the uh, whole uh, weekend unfolded. But we had 22 giveaways now, the most in the NFL. That's what you don't want to be leading in. Oh, you know, the season's almost over, and we number one in the NFL in the most giveaways. Well, you look at the record, uh, that plays a big part. But we did bounce back. Um, you know, we ended up having a zero turnover margin. Uh, we still minus 12 for the season, so we didn't game one. Uh, we didn't lose one. Uh, I thought the penalties, how they called the game. Didn't you think, Christian, that uh, it, they called yeah, nine, nine total? total. Nine total. I mean, they let uh, play. yeah, they, they let there was him one play. bogus on Tyron Matthew early in the game. Oh, that was that, a bogus that, call. That, 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 that was like uh, that. That's like clinic real. That that was like perfect co- coverage by Honey Badger. That's not a penalty. And there was another Nick picking one. Um, it might have been on, a, Debo. A, 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 on Yeah, no, I don't know. If Debo was there, or maybe it was an Alante Taylor. I mean, it, to me, they were. I don't know the one about a Debo because I think you know that, that's when they. Um, you know, had both holding on the Falcons, and then we yeah, got offsetting. yeah. So to, no, it wasn't. I think it was one on Alante Taylor. Okay. I said that's good defense. That, that that you know they should never call that. But then um, you, you know, looking out, uh, the game unfolded, and uh, who made an impact on defense? He continues to. This is another uh, trivia question. Okay, uh, fans are getting, I guess this. Who's leading the sack? If you watch it now, you think maybe oh, it's a defensive end, Cam Jordan or some. Who's leading the uh, Saints in sacks? Okay, you'd say, we all know Demario Davis with six and a half. Well, they have two players that are tied for second. Okay, uh, at five and a half. One is Cam Jordan. Who's the other one? Caden Ellis. Yeah, you, you, because I told you the answer, Chris, before, but the fans would not guess that Caden Ellis, five and a half sacks. He's tied for second behind Demario Davis with Cam. Who's had limited playing time. Remember now, he played for Pete Warner. Uh, 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 Christian, he, uh, the middle of the, it was halfway through the season yep. when he first came. Yep. What five and a half sacks? I thought you know uh, give a game ball to Catavia Street. Catavia Street, how now has three sacks for the season. He's the one that gave Drew Brees the business and hurt his ribs, but he has three sacks for the season. He had two quarterback hurries, two tackles for a loss, so he came up big time. I thought Honey Badger came up big time. He had a chance maybe to get a couple of picks. Had a couple of pass defended and had his first sack of the season. He's Bobby. I'm Christian. Saints win 21-18 over the Atlanta Falcons. This is the point after here on the Community Coffee New Orleans Saints Radio Network. Saints win. Cowgirls lose.